Zach Brooks, how are you? Hey, Chris, I'm really good. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot for joining me. I wanted to congratulate you on your 2021 Chris Klug Foundation Bounce Back Give Back Award uh, as our recipient this year. Thank you very much for accepting that and congratulations. Hey, thank you. I mean, this is one of the coolest thrills of my life because I didn't really expect it. And it's just fun. And it's fun to, to meet you and, and help support your work and all the good people in your organization uh, do really good work. So I'm happy to be a part of this. Well, you're doing great work and that's why we're recognizing you. Can you just for uh, a minute or two kind of share your journey in your own words with uh, all of our Summit for Life participants and CKF friends? Yeah, absolutely. So 1998, I was playing uh, soccer. I played soccer in college and I was playing in a sand uh, soccer tournament. Broke my toe, went to the doctor. I thought it was fine. He said, no problem, let's just check on things. Uh, came back with a broken toe, but then suddenly my kidney function was poor. Some numbers were elevated where they shouldn't be. Fast forward four months, I was on uh, dialysis. Fast forward five months, I got my first transplant from my father, uh, Stephen. And then uh, that lasted for seven years. And then I had my second transplant, 2007. So the first transplant, 1999, second, 2007. Uh, the, the graft just didn't work well over time. There was nothing I did really poorly. My mom was a match, so I got my second transplant in uh, 2007. And at that point, I really started competing in a lot of uh, games around the world and then kind of really getting back to uh, my life as, a, as an athlete, which I was in college. Like I said, I'm in, I played college soccer and ran track a little bit. So that's like the short version. I'm a really fortunate person. My parents are the heroes to have donated twice. So the gift of life, you know, three times from my parents. That's awesome. Congratulations. And how are you doing now? You look healthy and uh, I know you're staying active and uh, traveling and living a great yeah. quality of life. Thank you. Well, yeah, obviously I'm fortunate because, you know, whenever, you know, have a conversation like this with any transplant person around the world, you know, I always think about the seven or eight people who are waiting at any given moment for their chance to have their second life and their best life. But you know, the way I, I really try to thank my parents is to live my best life, which is stay really active. I wrote a book sort of in, in this uh, vein to, uh, it's called Discovering Human Algorithm, to how to live life with meaning and purpose. So to really try to capture some applied life principles and live those. So it's, you know, movement, movement a lot, learning a lot of things, always approach everything as an adventure and do some art and advocacy in the meantime. So I, I really try to uh, say thank you to the world and my parents in particular by just living well. And, and being active and conscious about that. Good for you. Well, continued yeah. good health to you. Thank you. I want to ask you what's inspired you to uh, give back to the transplant community because this award doesn't just recognize somebody that's had a transplant and thrived physically and mentally as I know you have, but also you've used that second chance and third chance for you to uh, help those waiting today in the transplant community and and help make uh, this world a better place. Why? Gosh, Chris, I mean, I, I talk about that all the time and now you point blank me. I, it's me, it's such a, an honest instinct. I mean, if someone has helped you in some fundamental way, then it seems just so obvious to try to help 10 other people because that, that preciousness of that gift that someone gave to you without any question whatsoever, if I could just pass a tiny bit of that you know, glowing, beautiful dust, you know, that stardust uh, along to another human, it just seems like that's the only way I could potentially pay back that beautiful gift to me. So it just seems like such a natural instinct to, to give. It's also really a lot of fun. And I learn a lot about my own self as a, as a human, um, to learn from other people, their journeys, their stories, their resilience. Um, so I, I really just get a lot of enjoyment out of it on a personal level. So if anyone can benefit from my little bit of activity in the world, I'm happy. And I really always just think in terms of one person, if what you and I are doing right now, but if it's one person, we're good. And that one person can be someone we never meet, but that, that's it. I just want to benefit one person at a time and, and go from there. Zach, you're doing great work. Keep it up. Thank, Thank you. you for all you do to give back to the transplant community and inspire all of us. Thank you I'm, so much, Chris. Uh, sad that uh, you're not here uh, with us tonight. In, uh, in Aspen for our 16th annual Aspen Summit for Life. But we look forward to welcoming both you and, and Jim Gleason uh, back next winter. Awesome. And if I can just give a shout out for the Instagram page I have, it's World Transplant Athletes. If you have a body with a new part and you can move, you are a World Transplant Athlete.
We look forward to following you. We uh, also, I look forward to continuing this conversation and uh, having a, a more in-depth conversation with both uh, you and Jim and, and the work, great work you're doing. Keep it up. Great. Thank you, Chris. Thanks a lot, Zach.